Well, hello there. It's me, Aditya, and welcome to Adi's. And here's my review for Animal, directed by Sandeep Reddy Vanga and starring Ranbir Kapoor, Rashmi Khanna, Anil Kapoor, and Bobby Deol in the lead roles. And if you're a Ranbir Kapoor fan, do watch the video till the end. If not, there are chapters below. Subscribe and watch. Hello, hello. 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 Followed by decent second half. Now, as I mentioned earlier, go with the ratings for the overall rating in the chapters below. I give this for every movie review, and let's just get into the goods of the film. If we talk about the good things, then one, the first half of the film. The first half is just too good for the film. I'm telling you, in the first half, you see Ranveer Kapoor's Vishwaroop, and you see Sandeep Reddy Vanga's skills because the whole first half it starts off very well. Because the uh, the first half, if we talk about what's good in the first half, then one emotions are very good in the film. The whole father and son emotion is very good in the film. The film starts off well. Um, it introduces the um, relationship Ranbir and his father Anil Kapoor has, and after it introduces that, it goes right into the present, and the film shifts back and forth. Like one scene happens in the present, and one scene happens in the past, and one scene happens in the past past. That's how you say it, and yeah, that and the film also goes into the future of twenty fifty six. It starts off like that. So, one, the screenplay of the film is good because it organized each scene very well, and the editing, each scene like from one timeline to another timelines, editing was too good in the film. Like after Hua Me, after Hua Me song comes. After that, the shift between the pre- uh, past to the present, that whole shift, what was there, that editing is very good. And again, even the editing is good. But in some scenes, in the like in the second half of the film, they could have trimmed it. But that goes into the negative. So if we talk about the good things, editing is very good in the film, and screenplay is very good. Dialogues. Now, if the, we talk about anything else in the film, then the comedy is very good in the film, and the comedy is very good. And especially a reason for that is the dialogues are very good in the film, though they. Yeah, like a bit like not family type, but the dialogues are just too good in the film and performances. Ranveer Kapoor's performance in this film is next level. If there is one reason why you have to watch the film before I mention anything, I'm going to say Ranveer Kapoor. That's the biggest reason to watch this film and his performance, man. Prob- it's like one of the best performances, if not the best performance in his o- whole career. It's like, like the whole. It may be anything, like a gangster, or a son of a father, or it may be a father himself. It may be a gangster or a son, or a father of two kids himself. Anything he did too good, or even as a husband. Everything he just pulled it off with ease. Sandeep Reddy Vanga is like, oh sir, it's actually a pretty dark scene right now. Uh, you have to do a bit of hard work. He's like, what's the scene? Hehe, he, he, too easy. And he literally did it with ease. Anil Kapoor is next in the list. His performance is just next level in the film. In the climax, there is like um a father and son scene happening, and in that scene, no matter how good Ranbir did, Anil Kapoor was. Also very good in this film, like the scene between Ranbir and Anil Kapoor, literally, you would cry. I'm telling you that whole father and son scene over there. I almost cried, and if you are a human, you would get emotional. Show me one person who didn't get emotional for that scene. That scene is just too good. He is also too good in the film. And if there's anyone else, then Rashmika is also pretty good in the film. I know we trolled her for like the way she was delivering her dialogues in the trailer, but trust me, she also did a very good job. Again, in the second half, there's a scene between Ranbir and Rashmika, and the performance of Rashmika is just too good. And Ranbir also did a fabulous job in that scene. And and then comes the rest of the people. But and if any one of them. is in any scene in the film like if ranbir is in a scene or ranbir and anil kapoor is in a scene or ranbir and rashmika any of them are in any scene you know that that scene is going to be pretty good because of their performance itself and action set pieces are very good in the film the whole first half like interval 18 minutes action sequences is too good and the whole, most hyped machine gun scene is too good in the film and again in the f- the first half is just too good background music is also very good in the film like you know the anim- it may be the animal theme music or any song into a background music or just anything the background music just elevates a lot of scenes and 
just makes a lot of scenes look better and coming to writer and director sandeep reddy wanga he did a very good job in the film the story is good in the film it's just a revenge story story but it doesn't feel it's not engaging in any scene so in the especially in the first half so the story is very engaging execution is very engaging in the first half the first half's execution is too good the writing is very good screenplay is very good editing is also very good in the film and dialogues is also very good in the film and um now if we talk about some negatives of the film second half is a negative for the film i know you must have heard that in many reviews by now but i'm going to the in depth review also so if we talk about the second half then our second half unnecessary subplots yes unnecessary subplots and unnecessary scenes in one scene ranbir talks about uh, pubic hair and everything and there are some just different kind of subplots in the film especially in the second half which i feel wasn't that interesting to be honest and again if we talk about anything else then that's bobby deol's character that's a negative literally i honestly thought that they were saving bobby deol's character because whatever you saw him like in the teaser or the trailer or anything you you your first you're like why aren't they showing anything you're like oh so they're saving his character for the film but whatever's in the teasers or the trailer that's basically it and there's one scene extra for him and that's basically it he gets introduced in like the 2 hours 40th minute so the way they developed his character is actually very bad they didn't even develop it i actually really felt sad and there's a subplot in the film with uh, tripti dimri and even that subplot honestly it felt what's the point of it other than that you guys could have just like developed scenes between uh, bobby deol and R- ranbir kapoor and the major reason why the second half didn't work in the film is because of this now honestly speaking the second half's first 30 minutes also has it focuses on one subplot like marriage uh, problems husband and wife problems from one angle the film goes into another angle like after the first half the major reason why the first half is too good is because of the whole mass sequence and everything everything was written too good in the film but after the first half the film is at a very high stage after that the graph just falls down like this but it doesn't feel bad in any area because the performances and even the writing isn't bad it's pretty mediocre till the climax the film is mediocre and it, i didn't feel the film was bad but i felt it was mediocre but the climax the last half an hour of the film is very good it till the last half an hour it's mediocre but the last half an hour is very good for the film another big reason why the second half didn't work is because it's a bit slow yes the subplots didn't work in the film and on top of that the film is slow and it loses its logic also in the second half and one thing they try to show ranbir's character like he w- would do anything for his father but there is no consistency because in some scenes in the first half you feel he's a villain some scenes in the first half you feel he's a hero most of the scenes in the second half you feel he's a villain and some scenes in the second half you feel he's a hero so there's no consistency and that's probably one of the best things but in the second half they just took it to next level it's a routine twist followed by some inconsistent characterization which is kind of good but the whole second half his character just changes and you're like why is he behaving this way Be- but because you don't even like the subplot honestly the second half is a bit ruined to be honest but the whole climax and everything is too good in the film and yeah that's basically it and the film gets a bit dragged if they trim that as i mentioned earlier that goes into the negative for the editing so if they trimmed like at least 10 minutes of the film the film would have been better than what it is right now so overall it's a super first half followed by a decent second half and the first half basically has no flaw in it that's basically it so overall my rating for this film is going to be 4 out of 5 stars 9 out of 10 and that's basically it that's the review guys what do you feel about this review please to comment down below and what do you feel about this movie please to comment down below and if it's your first time looking at my channel go to my channel look at my content if you like my content and subscribe to my youtube channel and share it with other people who also might like my content and if they actually do like my content tell them to subscribe you also subscribe and i'll see you later bye